What just happened? What? <laughs> what just happened to it? Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Iceborne video. Today, I'm finally bringing you guys some Sword and Shield sets. This is going to be the first of possibly three Sword and Shield videos I have planned, because the thing about Sword and Shield is that it can be built in a variety of different ways. You can build it for raw, you can build it for elemental, you can build it around supporting your teammates with wide range and stuff like that. But the sets I have for you today are going to be focused around raw and just doing a lot of raw damage. So if you like playing Sword and Shield as a mobile DPS weapon, like myself, then these sets are going to be for you. But before we get into the sets, a quick word from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. I've featured them before on the channel and I'm featuring them again, and I'm sure you guys have seen Raid everywhere. I mean, the game has gotten 15 million downloads in the last six months, but for those of you that don't know, Raid is a fantasy turn-based RPG, and the best part is, boys, it is completely free. So the thing about champions in this game is that no matter if you get a good one or a bad one, they're still pretty useful, because if you get a good one, then well, obviously you keep them and you use them and you level them up and stuff, but if you get a bad one, you can just use that one as food and just sacrifice them to level up your other good champions. So I'm going to open 10 ancient shards, which are the ones that give you slightly better stuff, just to kind of give you an idea of what you can expect. And so we'll just see if we get anything good or if we get a lot of food from these shards. So I'm just going to summon times 10 here and see what we get. Okay, I didn't get any legendary ones, unfortunately. Beast Wrestler? That sounds lit. Oh god, he's a dwarf from Lord of the Rings. Marked- Oh! Ho! Oh, hold up! Hold! Hold up! Okay, oh! Oh my! Okay, I'm keeping this one. Gallic, good old Gallic. I've had you before. I'll just use you to level up my other Gallic. Well, I wish I got a legendary one to show you guys, but I mean, it is what it is. Alright, screw it. I'm opening up another one. Let's see. Oh damn, it's Gimli. What the hell? Nice. Anyway guys, that's Raid Shadow Legends. Click on the special links in the description and you'll get 100,000 silver, 2 clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and a free badass champion, the Executioner, who is actually hella good for new players. Just click on the in-game inbox to redeem all of your rewards. This offer is only going to be available for the next 30 days after this video goes live, so be sure to cop that. And thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Alright, now onto the sets. The first set I have for you is a raw damage set. This is the highest possible damage you can get on a per hit basis with sword and shield and this uses the acidic glavinous sword and shield i have it augmented for an affinity augment a health region augment and a defense augment because nothing else fit and for the mods i have it outfitted with raw increase mods and ultimately with a namiel mod i also have it slotted with an attack plus four jewel but if you don't have two of these can't wait for the comments uh, you can also use a hard enduring jewel that i featured in my dual blade video or item prolonger because this is a protective polish set, so having 30 extra seconds on protective polish is a huge quality of life change, and you could argue that it gives you even more DPS. Even then, this is still, with the two less levels of attack boost, this is still the highest damage per hit basis sword and shield. For the armor, I'm using the Rajang helmet, the Brute Tigrix chest, and the Ruiner gauntlets, the Odogaran coil, and the Garuga boots with the Handicraft charm 4. With this, we can slide it for max attack boost, critical eye, handicraft, four levels of agitator, max health boost, crit boost, weakness exploit, protect to the Polish and a non-elemental boost. Because this is a pure raw set, you can use it for pretty much anything. The only problem is that, like I said, this is a protective polish set. So you have the option to use item prolonger to make your life a little bit easier and make this feel a little bit more comfortable. But honestly, I don't like using protective polish on sword and shield all that much because the same, it's just like Insect Glaive. You move around so much with this weapon, it's so mobile, it's so versatile, you pretty much never have to stop attacking. You don't even have to sheath your weapon to heal when you get hit and stuff, so I don't really like it. Uh, so instead, to be honest, if I want to use a raw set, I prefer using the Shara Sword and Shield. This is a Master's Touch set because Shara has a decent enough chunk of purple to make it work, but this does not do nearly as much damage. So there's really no point in running pure raw Sword and Shield. Most of the time, I would just recommend, and I prefer, running the Gold Rathian Sword and Shield. First of all, it looks beautiful. I love repairs. You can use a Master's Touch set on it because of the huge amount of white that it comes with, and the damage is super competitive even without taking in the free poison procs that you get from using this weapon. The only drawback to this set is that it does rely on peak to do that much damage. Once that drops, y'all already know, 
It's Poo Poo Kaka. You can use this exact same set on the Nergi SNS, but you have to trade in some levels of attack boost for Critical Eye since it doesn't have any innate affinity. I honestly don't recommend using this Sword and Shield, to be honest. You're better off just using Gold Rathian in pretty much any matchup where you would consider using Nergi. Plus, it's so ugly. However, another set that's actually pretty good is the Rajang SNS. This does the same amount of damage as Gold Rathian without peak, but it doesn't have the added benefit of poison procs, and it kind of relies on the monster being weak to thunder to match exactly on damage. Though you could push this a little bit further if you do slot in one level of peak, but this set has Agitator 5, because Agitator 5 gives you 10% more affinity whenever it's active, which bumps you up from 90% affinity to 100% affinity. If you decide to go with Agitator 4 and 1 level of peak, you would have 7%, so you still have that little gap of 3%, so it's completely up to you if you want that. I'd rather just have the guaranteed raw and the crits from Agitator, but it's completely up to you. Now, if I'm honest with you guys, I haven't found Sword and Shield to be as fun as other weapons in Iceborne. That's one of the reasons why this video has taken me so long to make. I just haven't been using it all that much. They just didn't add enough to it. Perfect Rush is a joke, and to top it all off, the meta for it is mainly the same cookie cutter stuff you see for everything else. Master's Touch with Teo, Helm, Gloves and Coil, Brute Chest, and Garuga Boots. I love how Capcom nerfs Brute Tigrick's free meal skill on the helmet, but the Garuga Boots, which are literally in every single build, remain untouched. I don't exactly know what would be enough to shake up the meta, but most raw melee weapons are really boring because of it. If you were looking for what to build or what sword and shields to use, I hope you still found this video useful or at the very least entertaining. Well guys, those are my sets for raw damage, sword and shield. I hope you guys liked them. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, then drop a like as it really does help me out. I would like to thank my patrons for their continued support. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to support me directly, that is the best way of doing so. Link is in the description, as well as a link to my Discord. Again, I would like to thank Raid Shadow Legends for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. And above all, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.